Welcome, this is Dr. Tracy K. Well, I love you in this place. Thanks for coming to this Buck Moon Manifest True Desires Meditation event. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We also have a wonderful membership going on if you want to be getting exclusive, um, never seen types of things that you can learn for the YouTube channel dot com uh, forward slash c slash dr tracy k with an i so i want you to all to get comfortable if you haven't already uh, seen the instructions you should have a a gold candle or you could take some another ca a candle and paint it gold with your nail polish you want to or you could use the candle that we're going to provide in the meditation for you that could also help if you don't have that a gold marker, at least close to a gold marker, and um, a moon journal page or a journal page, or if you've already have um, bought my beauty journal uh, book that you can find on Amazon or my website, and or um, also have uh, adult coloring goddess pages, but this is. If you have one, you can find one in the description box where you could um, print it out, a journal page plus also a coloring page, which is, you know, to enhance your manifestation. Let's talk about this moon. This is an amazing year for super moons. This is called the Buck Moon, and it is um, July 13th. And it's the buck moon that's taking place in the matter of days. So you can add, you can watch this, you know, during the full moon cycle. This July buck moon is one of the 12 lunar phases. Such as a maze retrograde throughout a year, it promises to steal the scene when it's close orbit, making it the biggest and brightest um, of 2022. If you haven't already known, as I am a metaphysician, but there are um, masters in this field that are astrologers, and they explain that this buck moon is an inspiration to each individual to break free from the box or become our true, full-grown self, which is, you're going to be the best version of yourself. This is going to help you become the best version of yourself. And if you haven't already signed up, or gotten to or signed up for the upcoming level up event or check out the 21 day manifestation challenge or if you haven't gotten um pre-registered for the my mix my book coming up that's secrets to self-empowered growth there's also a program if you don't want to wait you can get into my program it's unstoppable self-esteem program and this is actually the best time to get in and you do that program right now because when you focus and meditate or some people use rituals or some people pray, it depends on what you, you're going to absolutely empower your intentions or your manifestation powers or your prayer powers or whatever you're thinking because... This is going to help you learn how to break free and become and look and be outside the box and become the best version of yourself. So say some things like Sagittarius or Aries are naturally individualist bold. So this call to live fully as their authentic selves is a relief and they feel a full of purpose. Um, some of you probably, if you're real sensitive, have noticed some... Um, uh, maybe some, almost like a PTSD. I have PTSD, so it's like you could be getting triggers from the past and things that have come up that have been deep and hidden that are patterns, and it almost goes you into a huge PTSD attack where you're, you're making it known about certain things in your life or people or whatever, and you're, and you're facing it head on, and you're, that's going to help you break free of that. So this is now a time to 
be the biggest, best version of yourself. So, for example, like if you're a fire sign, I just told you, be more authentic selves. And, re and if you're a more timid sign, such as Cancer or Taurus, who could be part of a family or a society, they're kind of like followers and then you might find this time a little challenging for you. So it is in the sun sign of Cancer, but it's back end of the full moon with a Capricorn. So I'm going to discuss that a little bit. And so, say for instance you're a water sign, like Cancer, or Pisces, or Scorpio, and you're strongly linked to the moon. Because the moon is associated with the element of water. I know, it's strange. You would think, what? It's not, it's not made of water, but it is. It's actually associated with water. So, you can actually find out a lot more in regards to this. And I'm going to go over it with you. So, um, July's moon here is our third of fourth monthly supermoons in a row. This is the third one. So, wow, right? It's an extra special one, too, because this month's buck moon, which is definitely about the family, the, or the, excuse me, farmer's almanac type of deal. This is... It's, it orbits closer to Earth. I mean, you've probably already seen it before, you know, like on Tuesday. So it's it's really closer to Earth than in any other full moon this year. According to the Al Farmer's Almanac, it's at the nearest point. So this buck moon will be, it'll be like, two. it's funny because it's in the twos. So 2022, it's actually, the actual miles from Earth is 222,000 miles from Earth. And it's pretty wild, huh? So meaning it will be closer than the strawberry moon we had. So this officially makes it the biggest, the brightest super moon of 2022. And in this in this video, uh, you're going to receive an actual um, video from which they discussed that about the super moon. So um, let me just go over. What, the, what it is on the buck moon. And the reason why they call it the buck moon is because the antlers of the male deer are in full growth mode at this time. They buck shed and regrow their antlers each year, producing a larger and more impressive set as years go by. See, the Native Americans call it the salmon moon. It's, it's, it's like a thunder moon. So... You might have known as upcoming towards this moon. You might have had some storms and thunder, which we did, actually. So think about that. Do you remember that? Upcoming before this moon, you probably had some rainstorms, thunderstorms. This is like because of frequent thunderstorms in the summer. And this July moon is known as the claiming moon. This is my moon, baby. You know me and claim it, right? So this is my moon. So it's my claim it moon. <laughs> so, or other people call it the herb moon or the work moon or so, whatever. But we're calling it the claim it moon because that's my, that's my trademark motto and that's my saying, my statement. So this is a claim it moon. So take advantage of this. So everybody that's in the YouTube that's watching this, if you got a membership and you're one of the top members, VIP members, you can use uh, my... Uh, trademark mojo emoji emojis so i hope you use those in the chat but as the this is also time to be taking in and using up of spices and herbs so meanwhile it's it's kind of like a harvest moon but it's not it's it's a claimant moon we're calling it the claimant moon so with this meaning that uh, it's a unique name, and it's because it's going to reflect the landscape around us. So I'm going to you're going to be seeing this beautiful moon in this meditation event when this ha when I start this meditation. So if you're unclear, unclear, excuse me, about the claimant moon, I the number of moons names differ slightly. So they assign 12 to 13 full moons of the year. The, um, basically, the Nassau basically is all about um, the different types of moons that are related to this. And so what I'm going to give you is a spiritual meaning here. 
So all of you in the spiritual vibration channel, the spiritual moon of this claimant moon is about taking positive steps towards our hopes and personal development. So as a strong buck energy, it brings you the spiritual theme of strength and ambition into the season of abundance. See, that's what's why we're using gold. Gold is a very empowered um, color. And it's going to be a great time for boosting those super manifestation powers. And you really need to watch this to help you because some people maybe you're not good at the practice. And when you and watch what you're thinking, watch what you're doing because if if you boost this, you might get something you're not wanting. And so really, really take the time and and take control of your thoughts so when you're manifesting this is going to be up this is a level up experience so this is something you really want to you want to stay tuned and be part of so it's going to it's going to level you up on your manifest it's going to give you strength it's going to be ambition it's going to be the season for abundance for you it's going to be whatever you desire is going to be you're going to be able to claim it and level it up. Taking the steps, and it's going to be making you become a better version of yourself. And we're, I'm using this claim, this is my claim it moon, because um, it is all about the whole tour I'm doing for the Level Up Tour. And I love this because it's so great. And it's funny because it snuck up on me when I did this. I guess I was already... 10 steps ahead when I thought about this last year to, to do this. So, um, the thing is about this is the full moon's in Capricorn. Capricorn is a major, almost like a, it's basically a buck. It ran, it's, it's all about, which is the opposite of the of Mercury in Cancer. So, this axis, axis that describes, it's basically our home lives, our career, family, nurturing environments, and structures. Oh boy, is that exciting. And this is all about what? Self-growth. This is all about self-growth. This claimant moon, the buck moon, is all about self-growth. And it's a sign that good things are about to happen in your life. So this is going to help you. So take it and claim it, baby. So what I want to talk about real quick before we get in, before we get into the meditation is Capricorn and full moon. We already understand about the water cancer, so it's a, it's a it's going to occur um, around where this you know, throughout the six months when you take this in, it's going to add to your science. Now remember, each one of you are a sign. You have a chart. But you're all, basically, we're going to go by the star sign, in a sense, that's going to help you take stock to make decisions in the next six months. So, if you've been doing these full moon rituals with me in meditation, boy, this one is, this is the third one. So, you're really gold. You're doing really well for this. And, um, you're committing, basically, to moving mountains, like Capricorn. So, it's an ego-based type of claimant moon it's going to move your soul into work and walk that journey as it is in your trans it's going to, about your transformation of self into journey of your soul's purpose and you become the embodiment of your soul's work the full moon this full moon claimant moon shows us we will be committed and we will be doing this bare minimum i mean moving mountains type of thing in all areas of life from career to health to relationships can we get a claim it heart claim it yes so good all right this capricorn right here is about putting it into work and knows that it's a journey that creates the embodiment as you can't take that elevator to success that's my level up my level up is about the elevator so you're instead of taking the stairs you're going to take that level up elevator here. So because it is that hard work, each step, we're going to become the best version of ourselves, always wanting to be building that character, those traits, the mindset, everything. It's a commitment. And this energy is all about that expansion. It's going to teach us to never quit on anything. Because if we do, we never see the rewards and we never see anything grow. And it's about facing what 
we have in our past with a family, breaking that barrier, standing up into the face, everybody's going to realize, and then you're going to forgive and step outside that box and move on, and it's never going to be bothering with you again. So that's what it's great, and it's practical. It's a material way of doing this. It's a claim it moon. This is the claim it moon. So let's talk about the signs. First, we're going to talk about the zodiac signs for your uh, this claim it moon. Taurus. Taurus. You're a bull, but basically... But you're still a mild sign, so uh, you're going to be very active in July, and you're going to be, it's going to come up with a passionate planet, Mars, in your sign. You'll be getting all your steps in. Aries, July is a passionate, exciting month for you, especially in the beginning with generous, with the generous planet Jupiter. So it's going to be passionate for you. Aries is going to get passionate. Pisces, Pisces is going to be dreamy. And you're going to reach out and meet some real-life friends. You're going to snap out of that dream-like state, okay? You're going to start really being real. Scorpio. Scorpio, it's a quiet month for you. Springtime was busy, so July, you can rest. Because your Mars planet is going to enter that calm and elegant sign of Taurus. So relax. Take a spa day. Sagittarius, it's a confident month for you. Fiery energies will fill you up. So push yourself hard to succeed and achieve. Cancer, you love keeping in touch with others. So the Mercury planet will have you communicating. You'll be catching up with cousins far and wide. Aquarius. You're, we're going to be a state of world ch is challenging to you. You like you're going to be taking a lot of challenges. So this is if you, if you know all those things on, on Facebook about those challenges, get in on them because it's going to help you. It's going to get your chilled nature that wants you to take that challenge. So surround yourself with, with your, those kind of best people. Gemini, according to your July, it's actually a romantic month for you. Love is in your sector, so you'll find romance, especially around the full moon. Leo. Leo, this is your final week because the sun's getting on your side, so you'll be busy beyond measure, maybe with some job projects or projects that are, people are going to be offering you. Libra. Your partner tries to drag you into some gossip or arg or they're going to be arguing with you a lot. So, which proves unsuccessful. So, try to be a peacemaker. Try to be your peacemaker. Virgo. This is an exciting month for you, Virgo. You're going to strike a good balance with work, with family, with personal achievements, all reaching at a success in each at different times. So, I hope that helps you. Now, everybody should get prepared to get started for this meditation. Now, if you haven't already, you'll see that there's, if you already haven't printed out your journaling page and your, or your, and your coloring page, this is what you're going to be doing with that. These are going to be your magical tools, your magical manifestation tools. It's going to connect you to your higher self. So it's going to be the favorite thing that I am in for, for div inner divinity. So as you're listening to this meditation, um, have those prepared. We will light your candle or we are going to present a gold candle to help you with that. And Or you can, re if you don't have a gold candle, you can replace it with a white or a yellow candle. Just put on there, claim it moon, you know, just carve a claim it moon, whatever. Set your intention for this. So this is where your journaling page comes in. You should already have this prepared. 
um, how strong and capable your fullness is for the summer that makes you feel. What's bringing sunshine to your heart? Make a list, draw things on the page, color the page, and your journaling page. Get ready. There'll be some light music in the back. I might hear this. Sit comfortably. Read over these joys to yourself. Feel the power of this beautiful light. Take your gold brush or gold pen or gold marker and write. On your page, by the power of the buck moon, I claim it. By the fullness of the antlers, of the king or the queen of the forest, by the strength and sustenance granted, by my harvest, I declare and I claim. So motivated. Golden is the summer, golden is the sun, golden I am, the gold I am for one. Golden is the summer, golden is the sun, golden I am, the golden I are one. Golden is the summer, golden is the sun, golden I am, the golden I are one.
Come and see